You know, foreigners do so well here in the free enterprise system, as it were, economically. Why? Because it is a land of opportunity afforded because this nation was founded on the Judeo-Christian ethic. We owe everything to our founding fathers who, by the way, were men of God. Now, I realize history's been rewritten and it is even now as we speak being rewritten. And we're writing God right out of our history. But... If you want to know more about our Christian heritage, go to wallbuilders.com and you'll have your eyes opened to the truth that this country was founded by men who believed Jesus Christ to be the Savior of the world and the way and the truth and the life and that no man comes to the Father except through Him. We've come a long ways baby since then. So when I say the collapse of the U.S. being the catalyst for the rise of the Antichrist, I'm not being un-American here. I'm simply stating to you that which I believe to be true in the pages of Holy Writ. The Antichrist will be revealed. He will be unveiled. And he will flick the switch to a new world order a one-world government, a one-world religion, and a one-world economy. Now, how is the world going to embrace this charismatic leader that comes as the Antichrist in place of Christ? I mean, what's going to cause Muslim and Jew to embrace him? Oh, he'll offer a two-state solution so that Jews and quote-unquote Palestinians can live side by side in peace and security. Uh, Then he'll also uh, bring an economic solution to the ever-troubled situation that we are now experiencing, not just in the U.S., but all over the world. So it's like the economies of the world have to collapse in order for us to embrace, not us, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) other people on other, you know, places that <laughs> to, for them to embrace the Antichrist who will then have the, uh, the solution and offer the solution to the world's problems. Now, this could be the explanation as to why the United States is conspicuously absent from Bible prophecy. I mean... Search the scriptures through and through, and you'd be very hard-pressed to find anything but maybe an obscure allusion to the U.S. in Ezekiel 38, I think it's about verse 13, where some believe that's the only reference to the United States in all of Bible prophecy. In other words, something happens to the U.S. Now, about a month ago, we did a a study about the U.S. in Bible prophecy, and I'd encourage you to go to our website and maybe download that in the MP3, uh, or if you want, you can order a CD. But there's a number of reasons why Bible scholars believe the United States will be completely absent from the final prophetic program as we have uh, in our pages of Scripture. So this could explain why Once the U.S. has been taken down, the world can now set up a new order. See, the United States is in the way. And by the way, Christians are in the way. Did you know that we're the problem? Did you know that that Christians are blamed for the world's problems? See, after the rapture and we're taken out, which by the way, again, the rapture has to take place before the seven-year tribulation, Okay, after the rapture, we're out of the way. They're like, you know, the world's finally like good riddance. Those fundamental extremist, Bible-carrying, gun-packing, you know, freaks are out of the way now. We can get on with our, you know, Tower of Babel, if you will. Our one world, you know, uh, government and language and order, and economy. So they're going to set it up 
But in order for them to set it up, the U.S. has to be taken down. Now, again, I know this is depressing. I know that it's distressing, but that doesn't mean that it's not true. I'm only speaking to you what I believe to be true in the pages of Holy Writ. I think like never before, the U.S. is insecure on every front. And we are more vulnerable than at any time in our history to enemies abroad. Consider the following headlines. This from the Associated Press. U.S. foes gloat over financial crisis. This from a France publication. Iran hails world financial crisis as end of capitalism. Uh, this from Hamas leader Ismail Haniya. We are witnessing the collapse of the American empire. That's exactly how he says it too in English. <laughs> this from a top Iranian cleric. We are happy that the U.S. economy is in anarchy and the anarchy is reaching Europe. They are seeing the result of their own ugly doings and God is punishing them. By the way, that's not the same God <laughs> that we're worshiping here today in this church here today. They're talking about Allah, the moon God. And Allah, the moon God, is not the same as Jehovah, the one and true God. He is the enemy of our God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. So, this from, again, the AP, European leaders press for new economic order. Joel Rosenberg on his blog site had this to say, our national security is inextricably tied to our economic security. Economic weakness is an invitation to radical Islamic terrorists to hit us again. It's also an invitation to other rogue nations to pursue their evil plans while thinking we are unable or unwilling to stop them. The United States cannot lead the world in defeating tyrants and terrorists and creating an environment of peace and prosperity if we're collapsing at home. And see, our enemies smell blood. And they're waiting for the optimum time to go in for the kill. And I believe it's soon. And we are very vulnerable well, is this how it ends for the U.S.? We get taken down economically and then taken out militarily by an Islamic terrorist attack? I think it's possible, maybe even probable, because, again, something has to happen for the most powerful nation on earth to be removed from the prophetic scenario. Is it the rapture? Is it an economic collapse? Is it a, a terrorist attack? Is it all of the above? Something has to happen, and maybe even now is happening right before our very eyes as we were told in the Scriptures.